So today we're going to change uh, the seat stay bushings in your seat stays. Nice easy quick job. All the bushings are the same, all 15.8. Get those in any bike shop anywhere in the world pretty much. If they're worn, it's nice and easy. Go like that, get those fittings out. If they're not, you have to do screwdriver. Uh, and that's a little bit more awkward. But on the inside, when you push them together, obviously they have a lip on the inside of there. And then you can just get it in and push one out. If you get something thin to push it out with, a small screwdriver, flat bladed screwdriver, or a small allen key with a flat end, not a ball end, so then you can catch on that little edge. And then just push them out. Once you've got one out, it's dead easy to get the other one out. Like that. Uh, to get the actual bushing out, it's dead easy, just use a uh, bushing removal tool. You get them for shocks and everything else. Just the same job. Actually flip it upside down, it's got a flatter surface to sit on that edge. Line it up nicely. And get it moving. And then you just hold it in your hand. So there are other ways to get the bushing out. Obviously, it, you're going to throw it away, so it doesn't matter if it gets damaged. You can use a triangle file, that's a certain size, you can just fit in the end and push it out because it grips on four, three sides. You can just push it out nice and gently. Just be careful not to scratch it on the inside. You can use a socket. Again, exactly the same. Put it on the side there, put a socket in and bash it out gently, nice and carefully. Or if you have a RRP um, bearing tool kit thing, then you can use that and that does fit inside there. That's perfect in there. Perfect to fit on the outside of there as well. Chances are that. Putting them back in, new bushing. Uh, dead easy, you could use a vise very carefully. If you use the fitting, put it in the side of the bushing that's flat. There's one side that's got a little chamfer on it, one side's super flat. So put it in the flat side, and then get your nipex. If you have nipex, they are amazing, and you should do. Because they squeeze perfectly straight and flat. And then just press it in. And that's in all the way. Grab the other side, push that in, give it a little nip just to make sure it's in all the way. And there you go.